This is the full walkthrough tour for the 2020 Winnebago Adventurer 29B. We are going to start on the inside and work our way out. As you enter, there is a cubby, convenient for storing shoes. As with most Class A's, you are able to turn your captain's chairs around and make them part of the living area. And the coffee table has two positions to choose from. The driver's seat is power adjustable, making it easy to find a comfortable seating position. The 10 inch Bluetooth screen that is angled towards you is very easy to read from the driver's seat. The workstation table easily flips out towards you and the power station is easy to access. There is plenty of storage up above the cab area, but we would have really liked to have seen this netting being used on all the cubby holes. Having the adventurer pre-wired for Wi-Fi was a pleasant surprise. The drop-down bunk is awesome to have if you are traveling with a family or plan on having a lot of guests. The 29B is 30 feet long, and for most, that is a small Class A, but we found it to feel very comfortable and spacious, offering a dinette and queen-size sofa bed. The dinette table now opens up for some extra storage. The power outlet is now up and out of the way of the bench storage, which is one of the nice things about a Class A. There is a lot of storage in this little Class A. There is a 39-inch flat screen TV, which is easy to view from your captain's chairs. There's also surround sound that is above you played through the radio. Moving into the kitchen, you will find plenty of cabinet space and drawers, as well as a large microwave oven, more cabinets above the countertop. There's plenty of counter space with dual sinks, with induction cooktop and a propane burner for those times that either you are plugged in or boondocking. On the wall behind the kitchen is your command center. And yes, that is a solar charge controller. There is a single panel up on the roof of the adventurer. Spec sheet does not say exactly what the wattage is. The RV is 50 amp service with a auto gen start, two AC units and two thermostats, one in here and one in the bedroom. Let's move into the bedroom. But first we wanna show off this solid sliding door, which was a must on our list while shopping for an RV. As you enter the bedroom, you will notice many drawers and a wardrobe. There is a queen size bed, a large window, and a charging station that includes 110 and USB. There is a 32 inch flat TV, as well as another window. Space is not wasted with the TV being there. It raises up, revealing more storage. Another must for Sabrina and I while looking for an RV for full time was plenty of drawers for our clothes, as well as wardrobe to hang clothes. Underneath the bed, you will find even more storage. There is no such thing as too much storage in an RV. All right, now coming out of the bedroom, we'll head into the bathroom. The bathroom has a nice amount of counter space, cabinets, and cubbies to store all of your toiletries. It may be difficult to tell with Sabrina being six feet tall, but the shower is pretty spacious. Moving on to the outside of the RV, all the adventurers are now full body paint. The 29B has 145 square cubic feet of storage. It has two pass-through storage, this larger one and then the smaller one. There is a 32 inch flat screen TV and entertainment center, as well as an outdoor kitchen that includes a refrigerator, sink, and drawers. Move into the back of the RV. There is a 5,000 pound tow hitch, a quick connect propane port, backup camera, and a ladder to easily climb up to the roof. More storage bays on the opposite side of the RV. Your wet bay, which includes a whole house water filtration system. It has a 70 gallon fresh water tank with a 100 gallon combined holding tank. A 5,500 watt generator. Located in this bay is your 50 amp power cord, 
as well as your cable connections and external solar plug-in. It has another large cargo bay and an 18 gallon propane tank. Well, I hope you enjoyed the tour. If you did, leave a thumbs up. If you didn't, leave a thumbs down and we will catch you next time. Safe travels, everybody.